today's topic, Old Bay's transformation from a beloved regional spice to a viral brand. We got Old Bay Goldfish, vodka, beer. They've been going off with these collabs. So is this a dream come true or is Old Bay just doing too much? I pass the mic to Comedian to hear more. How do you feel about a spice getting this much action? Here's the thing. We, we, we're, we're walling out like pumpkin spice don't come back every year in full effect. September, October, November, pumpkin spice is out here. It's mm -hmm. on everything. Cupcakes, donuts, uh, hot drinks, hot chocolate. They got can it's, 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 it's an overload with pumpkin spice. And I feel like Old Bay is just getting this little time to shine. You know what I'm saying? Respect it. Because, I mean, I feel like Old Bay is, is, is for us, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Pumpkin spice is something we rock with, but that ain't really our spice like that. I say let Old Bay shine. You, you know, know what I'm saying? I, Let that Old Bay do his thing. I think Old Bay could learn from Pumpkin Spice because Pumpkin Spice picked a, a spot on the calendar to become yes. seasonal so that we get yes. an opportunity to miss Pumpkin Spice and it comes back mm -hmm. around like that old thing. And you like, oh, I like, you know what? Let me go back in. You know, I was, I was yes. tired of it last season, but let me try it one more time. Listen, this is Old Bay season right here. The summertime, you got the crab balls, you, you know, people on the grill, you throw that on the wings. This is the time right here. Put a little Old Bay and some, some, some Kool-Aid. I don't know. You know, get creative. <laughs> it ain't really my thing, you know. Old but, Bay you know, Kool-Aid. get creative with it. Oh, man. If only they would have thought of that before Juneteenth. Uh, there definitely would have been some Old Bay <laughs> Kool-Aid. If know Old that. Bay would have sponsored a Juneteenth event, oh, man. Sell out. That's Them and Tabitha Brown together, <laughs> oh, money. What is the to hear more hierarchy for spices? What's up at the top? Lemon pepper. Okay. okay. Lemon pepper can do... No wrong in my book. I love lemon pepper. It's fire on wings. I like lemon pepper fries from the wing stop. I love lemon pepper. I put it on some eggs. You want to spice up some salary? Throw a little lemon pepper on there. It's fantastic. The fact that a man who spends as much time in L.A. as you do did not mention adobo, I fear for your safety. I fear for thing. your safety. I, I, I don't know it like that. I don't know. I'm not going to sit over here and fake the front with it. I don't know it like that. I haven't had a chance to dive in like that. I'm a creature of habit. And a lot mm. of the times I'm on the road, so I don't get to eat. It's like how I, like I would want to every time. A lot of times I'm just trying to stay within my, my carb range so I don't gain too much weight on the road. So I'm doing a lot of salads, a lot of boiled eggs, a lot of fruit, a lot of water. You know, I'm proud of us actually obeying a diet on the road because it used to be one of us would go on the road and they come back six months later. You don't even recognize them. Listen, man, I, I can't buy no new clothes. OK, <laughs> I, I'll go up one size and I, my, my, my confidence is going to be able to handle that. My ego ain't there. So I got to stay where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a comfortable space for me. This is a space and the size I'm comfortable doing push ups at and, and jogging for two miles. That's it. If it all goes well, I lose 50 pounds. You know, by the, the by the top of next year, I'm probably gonna switch careers. I want to be like a sex symbol gospel singer. I feel like that's a lane that hasn't been, you know, really touched on and appreciated yet. You know, mm -hmm. just being like a, a real hardcore gospel singer, no shirt on, you know, blessed oil, anointing oil all on my chest. You know, just 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 singing about the goodness of the Lord. Just hovering like over the picture of Jesus. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I like that. I like a lot that. a lot of chains on, a lot of crosses, a lot of crucifixes. Just out here doing my thing. You know, what I'm saying represented for JC. And, you know, we are pushing the boundaries when it comes to the gospel these days. So I certainly can't put it past them. And I certainly can't put it past the young people out there today. And, yes, I am proud of us comedians now obeying the diet. I fortunately have been in place. So there is no excuse uh, for the weight that I've gained since 2017. If you want to hear more from Tahir, check out the Damn Internet You Scary podcast on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts.